Hi and welcome to my playhouse and I'm back in Denmark. What a trip. It was 30 degrees every day in Portugal and now I'm back in Denmark and it's not even 20 degrees. It's chilly but the grass has grown a lot uh, and I have the little red devil over here uh, working on that project. So, But I have another project that uh, I, uh, I messed up just before I left. I purchased this 12 volt pool pump and I messed up because I bought a 12 volt AC pool pump and I wanted to run it from DC but in the meanwhile I have gotten my uh, DC to AC converter here 200 watt DC 12 volt to AC 12 volt inverter a square sine wave so that uh, could be an issue so I thought we'll try that out I got two of them um, because I've also purchased another pump that has also come while I was away and then to get free shipping I, I bought some of these uh, cigarette lighter adapter thingies because I'm always running out of those so yeah I, I got some of those um, I do have another one though that I had found for this project so um, I'm going to be using this one for this project but now I have for other projects sorry about the wind if it's windy so I did open one of these uh, inside with some scissors so that I could see what it is and how it how it could work so it's it's rather simple it has uh, DC in and AC out so uh, and some adjustment I don't know what that adjustment does yet but I thought we will measure what comes out and see what happens so yeah we will um, we'll connect our thinky here we need to figure out which is plus and minus and then we'll connect that there and then we'll get our AC out and we'll see if the pump will run off that so let's get on with it so first thing which one is plus and which one is minus so we'll connect the positive to that one so that one is plus so we will connect that to to that one and the other one to the other one so this one is plus okay put that in there tie that down Apparently this little board is used for converting 12 volt uh, into AC and then you can put it into an inverter circuit of some kind uh, to invert it up to 240 volt. Like you can put it onto a transformer uh, according to the website. That's probably what it has been meant for, like a, like a really small one, 200 watts isn't too big I only need like I think it was 40 watts or something so uh, I think we're good here so, so now I have connected this and then we need to connect it to some power and then we can see what comes out of it awesome so here we have a power station so we can turn on uh, Yes, so we have turned on our cigarette lighter plug here. So we can try and pop that in. See what that, if that does anything. Okay, I have a little red LED on here that says that there is something coming out of it. So, so that's a plus. <laughs> well, actually it's a, so let's see if we get, if we get anything out of it. If we get AC out of this, it should only be 12 volts, so it should be pretty safe. Yes, I get 14.77 volt AC out of this, so I think it's. I think we can try and connect the pump to that and see if that will work for us. And here is the whole issue. 
I know these pipes are, are green and ugly and stuff, that doesn't matter. Uh, the idea is just to get the pump running. It's not to make it uh, cool and everything. And here is the issue. This is the transformer for the pump. And it's in uh, 230 volt to 240 volt. So it, uh, it goes into the wall suck right there. And then it transforms that to 12 volt and that little sign, which means AC and up to five amps and 12 volt, five amps is about 60 watts. So uh, yeah, 200 watts should be plenty. And um, yeah, I was, um, I was planning to do this and then I messed up because I hadn't seen that, that tiny little sign that this was an AC adapter, 12 volt AC. I thought it was DC. So I already cut the cable, so I'm gonna un undo my little fix here so that we can test the pump with this setup. I fixed this, so I knew I was gonna go come back to this. I didn't know how long it would take, so uh, yeah. Let's see if we can, can get this pump up and running. The idea is to run the pump off of solar and battery so that I don't have to, uh, uh, well, I have already run the pump of solar and battery, but I have run it as 230 volts and you get a lot of losses doing that because there's a lot of losses converting battery voltage into AC. So I'm hoping that this conversion is less and therefore I will be using less power and most definitely uh, that little circuit board which is like very cheap is probably more efficient than the big setup. I did this really well. This is drag. So I just put it back together with some of these so very easy to uh, to redo that and now this is uh, is AC so it doesn't matter which one is which which is a good thing to remember so let's let's untighten these these oh they didn't have to tighten them that much oh. I have disconnected it while I'm messing with it. There we are. Oops. So I have no idea if that pump is gonna be able to run off of square wave. It's used to a pure sine wave, and this is probably very low quality uh, AC compared to what it's really meant for. So there is a good chance that it will. <sighs> not work as well as intended but well there's a chance that it doesn't give it flying beep if it doesn't work at all we do also have the uh, slight chance that we can just put a big capacitor on the output and help it uh, make a better sine way that way like there is that chance, but let's try this first, see how that goes. So now we can put it... So this is the easiest... Oh, really? Okay, we need to go help the robot. It decided to run into a ditch. Yeah. It's working hard on this garden lawn, which has gotten like up to about 10 cents. Well, this is probably a bit more than 10 centimeters right here. Oh, that's 15 centimeters. And now it's starting raining. Awesome. Okay. I've moved the power station out of the worst rain. So we're gonna try and connect it. We might. I'm probably cutting this video a bit short. So let's pop this in. There. Turn on. DC and the pump runs just fine awesome fix is completed no issues sounds perfectly normal there's no water in it so it's complaining a little bit about that so um, yeah so from me and little 
devil. I think we're gonna end it here. I think he is driving around on an on a pair. That's gonna mess him up. Yeah. And it's coming down hard right now. So I'm gonna end the video here. We had a little bit of a success. The the project works now. I'm gonna be able to run the pump off of a 12 volt DC using this DC to AC converter. I have no idea if we're gonna be saving any power on this. We're gonna we're gonna do that test another day. So so thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.